So the new album, the new song Rockstar, is it gonna be is the new album gonna be all rock? Yeah, the next my next record is zero country songs. It's Abe Cannon doing an Odyssey check-in with Hardy. Hardy, the new song Rockstar, HardyOfficial.com for tour dates. You're playing amphitheaters, you're playing arenas. The dream came true, right, Hardy? Yeah, it's pretty wild, man. So the new album, the new song Rockstar. Is it gonna be is the new album gonna be all rock? Yeah, the next my next record is zero country songs. Zero so is Rockstar just a single or is that gonna be on the new album? It's on the new album. Yeah, definitely. When's the new album coming out? Uh I'm not sure if I can answer that yet, but it's gonna be this summer. This I'll you, say this this summer. But you know, you know when it's coming up. Yeah, I have a date. And is there like I know you love death metal? Like are, are there death metal songs on this? Like what what's going on? Man, it's a it's a it's kind of all over the place. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's it's just it's just a look inside of my brain attempting to write rock rock songs. You know what I mean? I, I it's yeah. there there's a lot of it that's that's like rock star, which is like pop punk, you know. Um, if you call it that, maybe hardcore or whatever you want to call that. But like um but then there's there's like some some stuff that that's similar to my old record that has like a country lyric over a, you know, like a a really rock and roll, like sonically a rock and roll song. And dude, it's it's just there's a lot. It's just it's very different. It's it's some of the most different. It's the most different and uh just a hodgepodge of of I don't know, just what's inside my brain. But it's it it's there's there's it's just it's up and down and, and left and right and all over the place. But I'm really excited about it. But no, no, um there's going to be some features on it, but no, uh, no, no death metal, uh, nothing like that. Not yet, at least. But there's there's a couple of songs like my my heaviest song is on this record. Like it, it'll be the the heaviest thing I've done so far. So you have some guests doing songs with you, you're saying? Yeah. Could you name one? Is Post Malone one of them? No, Post Post is doing a country record. So uh, so he's, he's he's going the opposite way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, Post Malone's not on it, but um. Oh, I can't say yet. I can't. I can very soon, but I'm not. I can't say. You could, you could break yet. news right here on the Odyssey check in. I will say that uh, one of the features is a musician and not a singer. Is it Slash? No, it's not oh, Slash. Damn, I wouldn't. I couldn't tell you even if you got it right. But it's not Slash. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that's awesome. You started out writing songs for other people for the most part. Did you want to step out the whole time? Or were you just happy writing? Because at some point, you know that these songs are great. It's like, I need to do this myself. To answer your question, no. I I, I had no intentions of being an artist, quote unquote. Um, and I I had gotten involved in the Big Loud. Big Loud is my label. And I'd really gotten involved with their camp and like their artists, which was Morgan Wallen, Florida Georgia Line, Chris Lane, uh, Jake Owen, like all these people. And I'd started writing songs for them. And so my like demos started catching their ear. And essentially, like one day out of the blue, they offered me a record deal. And uh, I mean, I was just a straight up songwriter and that's all I wanted to be. And and anyway, I, I held on to it. I thought about it for a, a month or so and I finally decided to, to go for it. And so that's when I jumped jumped into it. Uh, let's talk about the video. Like you have uh, like you, an ode to Kurt Cobain in the video, the Beatles, ACDC, Paul Stanley. Um, are those some of your biggest rock influences? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we we kind of rode the, the line between um, people that were easy to recognize, you know what I mean? And but also influenced. I mean, Kiss was my second concert I ever went to when I was like eight years old on the on the uh, the reunion actually, tour. Was like the, that was the first fail, farewell tour. It was like 2000, 2001. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, the one that, you know, lasted 30 years or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I know. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely a huge fan of all the all the bands that we we did. And and um, I liked my favorite one was Limp Biscuit because that's not one that I don't think when you think of like, you know, when you think of the most classic rock stars, I don't think Fred Durst or Wes Borland or any of those guys yeah. like are right at the top of the list. But my band and I are such big Limp Biscuit fans that we, we I had to tip a hat to them because I love them. I feel like a lot of bands that got steered into country in the 80s or 90s would have been rock bands. I, I feel like a lot of, like like I mentioned, like Post Malone, Jelly Roll, Chris Stapleton, you. I feel like guys like you would have gravitated towards rock anyway. Yeah, I mean, when I first started, like, you know, singing, I didn't really, like, I, I'm obviously a huge rock and roll fan, but I didn't know that it was possible, you know? I just, 
did country because I was good. You know, I knew how to write country songs and and uh, I grew up country, but um, I didn't know that it was possible. And I kind of had to ease into that world. But no, you're right. I mean, you even go back to bands like in this in the like 80s, it was like Alabama, you know, and it was it was oh, like. Yeah even like almost Brooks and Dunn or like Garth in the nineties. Like there were, there were, there were guys that really leaned in Brantley Gilbert, even, you know, more, more recently, like guys that really have leaned into the rock thing, but it never like full on went rock, but could have probably pulled it off in their own way. If Leonard Skinner came out today, they would be a country artist. Yeah, no doubt. So tell me more about this rock album because we're playing rock star and people love it. So tell me what else can we expect on this new rock album? What, what's it called? Do you have a name yet? Do you say that? uh yeah I, I mean it's pretty at this point yeah it's it's called quit um and it's i put a song out in december called quit and it's a it's a, a song about um how when i like 10 years ago i was playing a songwriter night thing in, in alabama and somebody put uh wrote quit on a napkin and put it in my tip jar and i kept it and i still have it to this day oh that's and, awesome um and so that song is dedicated to that. And and so the album is going to be called quit. Um, That's great. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited about it. Cause we had the quit tour coming this summer. It's if, uh, if it hasn't officially been announced, it's that's most people have probably figured it out, but yeah. Um, I don't know, man, again, it's just, there's, there's some, some stuff that sounds like the old rock stuff that I've done, like Jack and, and, uh, um, even like sold out. I mean, there, but there's also, I've got Cody uh, Quistad from um, wage war that's played on the record. So he's played a lot of the really heavy breakdowns and stuff like that. Nice. Um, there's even a couple of like love songs, which I haven't really done before <laughs> in the rock world. Um, yeah. So everyone loves a good bell at Hardy. Yeah, man. And there's a couple on here. So it's, it's just, it's got a little bit of everything. I mean, really it, it's across the whole spectrum as far as, as, as sound, but I don't, I don't see that as a bad thing. I, I, you know, I think that I'm just experimenting and I'm, and I'm, I'm just making the music that I like to make. And I think if it sounds cool, then let's put it on the record. So there's, there's just a lot of back and forth, but it's, it's really different. It's really cool. Well, we're excited. The new song, check it out, Rockstar. The video is hilarious. Like, you put some time into the video. Which, What do you think about making videos these days? Because when I was a kid, it's like, man, the November Rain video. You like, I'll never forget the November Rain video, right? There's certain videos you never forget. I feel like artists today just like, whatever. Just put a camera in front of me. I'll be on a stage. Here's my music video. You put some time oh, and effort. I think it's such a cool way to advance a story of a song or put, like, it's putting, like, sound to to – image and like it dude, think about like um learn to fly foo fighters how funny that video was and every time yeah. i hear that song i associate it with that awesome video and i and it makes it that experiencing that song even better no you always put effort into your videos i really appreciate that because it's a lost art it really is yeah it is but i think it's coming back i i, I or if it's not i'm gonna try to bring it back <laughs> yeah and because so many people are i mean youtube it's like man you're getting hundreds of millions of views on youtube it's like way more people are watching these videos than they saw them on mtv back in the day yeah i guess you're right man that the audience is is well and two like now it's just there for whenever you want to see it where back in the mtv days you just had to catch it on tv when you were watching tv you know um yeah why you know and i see that why not why not um do something cool for people to go see anytime they want, you know? Okay. So it's Hardy, hardyofficial.com. You're playing amphitheaters. You're playing arenas, the new song rock star. And man, you're the one that not the nicest people in music. You're one of the nicest people ever. And thank you, man. I wish you nothing but the best. And thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the time.